Find the derivative of f of x equals the quantity of 2x plus 1 over x squared minus 3 to the third power. This is a situation where the chain rule is required. I have a quantity to a power of 3, and applying the chain rule, I'll, take, I'll be taking the 3 to the front to find this derivative, decrease this power by 1, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside of the quantity, in this case the derivative of 2x plus 1 over x squared minus 3, that derivative will go here, and to, to find that derivative, I'll have to do the quotient rule. Let's begin. Again, I'm going to be moving the exponent to the front. The 2x plus 1 over x squared minus 3 is unchanged in this part of the problem. I'll decrease the power by 1 and then multiply by the derivative of the inside of the quantity, the derivative of what was originally raised to the third power, which in this case is 2x plus 1 over x squared minus 3. That derivative requires the quotient rule. The quotient rule is itself a quotient. The quotient rule states that the derivative of a quotient is, is a quotient. And in the numerator of that quotient is the original denominator unchanged, x squared minus 3 times the derivative of the numerator, 2, minus the numerator unchanged, 2x plus 1, times the derivative of the denominator, which is 2x, all over the original denominator squared, x minus 3 in this case, squared. So here's the derivative. Uh, I'm going to simplify this derivative at this point, but, but I have found the derivative already. As I go through the simplification process, let's realize that when I have the quantity to the second power and the quantity is a fraction, that can be rewritten as 2x plus 1 to the second power and x squared minus 3 to the second power. I can raise the numerator and denominator to the second power individually when an entire fraction is raised to that power. And I'm going to do that because that's going to help in the simplification after this next step. In the derivative of the, the quotient, the derivative of the inside, I have some simplifying to do in the numerator. I'm going to distribute the 2 through the quantity of x squared minus 3 to get 2x squared minus 6. And I'll be at the same time that I distribute the negative times 2x plus 1. I'll also distribute the 2x. So negative 2x times 2x is negative 4x squared. And negative 2x times 1 is negative 2x. have some like terms in the numerator of the, the third factor of my derivative, and those like terms are 2x squared and negative 4x squared, which have a sum of negative 2x squared. And then I'll write the terms in the numerator in decreasing degree, negative 2x squared first, the negative 2x second, and the negative 6 last. And this, the denominator is squared. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and multiply the numerators and the denominators. The, numer the, three, the 3 in the front, the coefficient of 3 in the front can be thought of as 3 over 1. So that's part of the numerator, 3 times 2x plus 1 squared times negative 2x squared minus 2x minus 6, all over. Now in the denominator, I have x squared minus 3 to the second power times x squared minus 3 to the second power, and their product is x minus 3 to the power of x squared minus 3 to the power of 2 plus 2. When you multiply the same base, you add the exponents. So that becomes the fourth power. And then before I call this my final answer, I'm going to factor in negative 2 out of negative 2x squared minus 2x minus 6. And after factoring in negative 2, it will be multiplied by the 3 that was already there. It means my final answer is negative 6 times 2x plus 1 squared times x squared plus x plus 3 all over x squared minus 3 to the fourth power.